Gary Rowan has worked in the oil and gas industry since last year. Now he's retraining to fill needed spaces within the industry. I needed a change in pace, a change in scenery and stuff like that. But attracting new workers has been a challenge. It, it's never been this bad. This company, this is a telescopic drilling rig, has for months been struggling to hire about 100 workers who ideally could have started yesterday. Uh, so we're still short, we're still recruiting, we're still uh, training. Uh, so it's an ongoing issue that we're dealing with. It's not just big companies, it's the smaller businesses too. This Edmonton company would like to hire two to three workers. It's been a struggle and yes, definitely uh, a challenge. If we had more people here, then of course, then your, your um, workload gets spread around and you can produce some more. Alberta is used to boom and bust cycles, but the last recession, which began about eight years ago, is having lingering effects as workers left to find more stability. And the pools that we relied on um, have moved to other occupations, trades, construction, um, and have found other employment uh, elsewhere, whether uh, in Western Canada or, or, or have moved back home to uh, jurisdictions that we had traditionally recruited from, like Central Canada and Eastern Canada. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney has tried to sell Canadian oil and gas to the world as the war in Ukraine continues. The Association of Energy Contractors says it's seeing some of the best drilling activity in a very long time. And there could be even more rigs if there was the manpower. You basically have the inability to grow our production. You have the inability to grow the sector. Until then, it's up to those like Rowan. It's a good feeling that Alberta is getting back into the oil and gas. This business is starting to boom again. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.